Hi, I'm Samuel Chen. And I'm Izzy Triana. And we are here at the library for Make It Monday. Tonight is flight night. If it's in flight, it's here. Let's go check it out. Why do you think events like these are important? You know, I think it's really great because the children um, really get to see what fun things you can do at the library. So not only are we here just to get boring books, but, you know, we're actually here to do fun things as well. And the kids um, realize that the library can be, you know, a great place to do fun things as well. So we come here every week and we do all the fun things that, you know, Patrick and the team present. Um, we do story time with Patrick as well whenever we can and the kids know that books aren't just about reading They're about learning how to make paper airplanes learning how to build rocket ships learning all kinds of things so um, Yeah, it's just a fun place to be and obviously the more we can encourage our kids to um, Read books the better tonight. We're actually building paper airplanes. We're building rocket ships We're gonna launch them in the parking lot in a little bit um, Each of my boys have built a rocket ship. So um, they're excited about that my little girl who's Two years old she's running around with a little paper airplane that she made or I kind of helped to make but she's having fun with the paper airplane so um, yeah it's just great for all the family and what is your favorite thing about these kinds of events you know I think it's um, again really for me it's for the kids to really get to the library an excuse to come to the library excuse to kind of be with other children uh, and again learn that you know a library is not just boring old books there's lots and lots of things to do here lots of fun things to do and it just opens their mind to go into the library the library's fun and these guys love books we we do so many books we rent actually rent 100 books out every two weeks we read them all a couple of times and bring all the books back every couple of weeks as well and i usually load up uh, a little a wagon every time i come here um, before we leave this evening and how do you think events like these benefit the kids Again, I, I, you know, it's really, I think, their mindset. You know, when I, when I was a kid, when I went to the library, it was just, you went to the library, you got books, and then you took your books home. And, you know, after a few visits, that got old to me. Whereas now, these kids are like, oh, we're going to the library again, we're going to the library again. So they're just really excited about coming here. Um, and obviously, it's just an avenue to, to get into um, reading books. And any time, you know, you can encourage your, books to, your kids to read more books, I think it's just great for them. So we just love it. I'm here with. I'm Toby. Nice to meet you, Toby. So, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here? Uh, we're making a, a duct tape rockets to launch into the uh, with launch into the sky for bicycle 
pump on the a, on the parking lot. Pretty cool. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your design, what you're working on so far? Uh, I'm doing it uh, green and yellow, and I'm going to put the uh, point on uh, in a minute. You excited about launching your rocket? We're here with Will. He helped put this event together. He is the library assistant. So Will, how do you think tonight is going so far? I think it's going great so far. We've had about 75 people show up. They're making our rockets, our paper airplanes, and our whirly gigs, and they're testing them out using our hula hoops, and they're launching them out in the parking lot, launching the rockets out in the parking lot, so it's a lot of fun. And why do you think events like these are important? Well, events like these are the foundations for STEM education, for learning things like sci um, physics, aerodynamics, like putting things together. There's great foundational learning opportunities. And how do you think this benefits the kids that uh, attend this event? Um, they get to meet other people. They get to have activities outside of school that are more informal learning uh, things. So, yeah, they get to learn in a different, in a different, um, I guess, a different situation in the classroom. Yeah. What is your favorite part about hosting events like these? Seeing all the people come out, work together, having the kids play out with new things and just discover new things and just kind of test it out and see what works best. I'm here with Dylan. So uh, Dylan, can you tell me a little bit uh, about what you're doing? Oh, uh, well, I'm making a um, compressed air uh, rocket, and um, we're, um, we're, make, uh, we're making it with paper and um, um, with a on top of a tube. How high do you think your rocket's going to fly? Um, around about here. What are you guys out here doing tonight? Uh, we are making paper rockets with duct tape. And scotch tape and yeah. tape. Do you enjoy building these rockets? Yes. yes. What is your favorite part about building a rocket? Um, getting to see it then. fly. Yeah, same, same. In the end, do you think it's worth it to go through all the effort to see your rocket shoot off into the air? Yes. Yes, very. Which tape do you guys think will work better, duct tape or scotch tape? Duct tape. Duct tape. Nice to meet you, Colton. So, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your rocket? So, we use two layers on the front, and this is our one layer, and and we use this, and we we tape that there so we could tell how to hold it on, and nice. we put and we put three on because then it could. 
go through easier. Are you excited for launching a rocket? Yeah. Hmm? How high do you think you're gonna launch it? Like maybe like, like kind of like over that hoop a bit. Nice. Uh, you excited to see it launch? Yeah. What are you out here doing tonight? Well, I've, I'm building a rocket. Oh, is it fun? Yes, it's really fun. What is your favorite part about building rockets? Well, I just like how you cover it in decorative duct tape. And what do you think the most rewarding part about building a rocket is? Well, flying it. You can, you can just see all of your work. How far do you think your rocket will fly? Well, I hope it goes as far as the street, the, the longest one last year was at least that far. I'm here with Patrick again. Patrick, how is everything? So Things are doing really good. We're just wrapping up another night here, flight night at the library. Mm -hmm. It was pretty epic. Very, very epic. We got a lot of rockets outside and you couldn't stop playing with them. It's oh man, fun. it's so fun to see the kids. They're making their own rocket, wrapping it up in different colored duct tape and just mm -hmm. shooting it across our parking lot. Uh, they yeah. just get such, <laughs> they get such a great joy out of seeing their creations just fly. It's pretty mm -hmm. fun. Wow, yeah, speaking of awesome events, uh, I hear that Tinkers with Thinkers is coming up. Yeah, uh, so you know, we've been doing the Night of a Thousand Inventions for like five years straight here at the library. You've been to wow. every one of them, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now we're trying to figure out how we can go even bigger and better. Mm -hmm. And so we teamed up with our buddies over at uh, Park and Rec, Park and, and Rec. we're gonna be having a new relaunched maker event that we're calling Tinkers and Thinkers, as you know. Uh, and the Tinkers and Thinkers Innovation Fair is gonna be in the park, Pleasant Hill Park Teen Center, Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to line up some submarines for the aquatic center. Submarines. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, there'll Ooh. be some surprises for sure, but <laughs> lots of robots and rockets just like we've done um, and a bunch of new exhibitors I'm really excited about. 
Uh, so yeah, there, there will be a, it'll be a Saturday that we'll want to you'll want to come out for September 16th, uh, 11 to 3 p.m. So it's not just an evening event; it's going to be like an all middle of the day kind of thing with some food trucks down there. It's going to be pretty sweet. Can you give us a little update on the new library that uh, is going on? I heard there's a lot of progress. <laughs> Absolutely, things are moving along. There's just a little bit of news every day it seems. So um, you know, we we got the Measure K money, so we, we've got the funding in place for the new library. We've got a site picked out. We're going to be building directly across the street right here on Oak Park in the vacant lot near the library so we'll get to watch it be constructed That's great. and now the city is just about to announce their architects so they've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes interviewing some amazing architectural firms we're gonna have some really really talented folks who are gonna be helping us build this library and we're just a few weeks out from uh, a city council meeting where we expect to hear the announcement for the architect who's gonna be building nice. this new library as soon as they do that as soon as they pick their their finalist for this job we're all gonna get together the whole community and talk about the library of our dreams so we're gonna we want families to come out we want people of all ages to come out and talk about what's the library that they want to see created and uh, and the architects are going to work with us there's going to be these facilitated workshops and town hall meetings and focus groups where we're going to really get to talk about you know this is a once in a lifetime right. thing right this is a once in a generation thing we can sit down and really talk about wow what could we make if we if we could have anything yeah we're to. living right now where we can decide what we can have the library uh, we can decide what sort of things that we want in our new library right and exactly. th this only happens once in a while yeah exactly once in a generation once in a yeah. few generations you know I grew up with this library here um, and I love I love the old girl but you know it's been 55 years and <laughs> 55 as years. you saw tonight you know we're, we're bursting <laughs> at the seams and and it's time to build something new you know a, a state-of-the- art library that's gonna have spaces for these wild programs that we've been doing spaces for huge story times spaces you know quiet spaces Spaces for people to just relax and kind yeah. of get away from it all. Mm -hmm. um, spaces for our teens after school for them to chill and just you know Perfect. be social and learn. So yeah, these are all possibilities, and we're going to sit down together and talk about talk about what we want to see uh, with these architects. It's going to be really exciting. Today has been another wonderful Maker Monday event here at the Pleasant Hill Library. And don't forget, on September 16th, we will have a Thinkers and Tinkers Innovation Fair. It is guaranteed to be a lot of fun. More details on the Pleasant Hill Library's website. We'll see you next time here on the Pleasant Hill City Channel.